ലൈ ബട്ട് മ്യൂസിക് വോണ്ട് സോ ആസ് ഗിറ്റാർ എന്താണ് ഇന്ന് ഗിറ്റാറിനെ പറ്റി പറഞ്ഞൊരു തുടക്കം അല്ല ആലോചിച്ചത് യെസ് ഞാൻ ഈ നിൽക്കുന്ന സ്ഥലത്തിന് ഒരുപാട് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ഗിറ്റാറിനെ പറ്റി പറയാതെ ഒരു നിവൃത്തിയില്ലാത്ത എവിടെ നോക്കിയാലും ഗിറ്റാറാണ് ഇങ്ങോട്ട് നോക്കിയാൽ ഗിറ്റാർ ഇങ്ങോട്ട് നോക്കിയാൽ ഗിറ്റാർ പല പലതരമായിട്ടുള്ള ഗിറ്റാറൊക്കെയാണ് ഇവിടെ കാണാനുള്ളത് യെസ് ഞാനിപ്പോൾ നിൽക്കുന്നത് എക്സൽസിയർ ഷോപ്പിംഗ് സെൻറ്ററിലാണ് ഗിറ്റാർ സ്ട്രീറ്റിലാണ് ഞാനുള്ളത് എൻ്റെ ചുറ്റും ഗിറ്റാറാണ് മ്യൂസിക് ആണ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ അബൌട്ട് മ്യൂസിക് ഓവർ ഹിയർ ഒരു ഞായറാഴ്ച ഒക്കെ ആയിട്ട് നമ്മളിവിടെ വന്നിട്ടുള്ളതിൽ ഒരു ചെറിയ പ്രത്യേകതയുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ ഒരു ഗിറ്റാർ ഷോപ്പുണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ പേര് മാസ്ട്രോ എന്നാണ് അവരൊരു പ്രത്യേകത എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദ ആർ ദ പൈനീസ് ഓഫ് ഗിറ്റാർ മാനുഫാക്ചറേഴ്സ് അവർ കുറേ നാളായിട്ട് വർഷങ്ങളായിട്ട് ഇവിടെ ഗിറ്റാർ ബിൽഡേഴ്സാണ് അത് ഒരു രസമാണല്ലേ ഇവിടെ സിംഗപ്പൂരിൽ എത്ര ഗിറ്റാർ ബിൽഡേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ട് എത്ര പേരത് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നുണ്ടെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് നിശ്ചയം ചെയ്യാം ബട്ട് ദിസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഇവരാണ് ഇത് ചെയ്യാൻ തുടങ്ങിയത് ഇവർക്ക് 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 ഒരുപാട് പ്രത്യേകതകളാണ് വളരെ ദൂരത്തു നിന്ന് അങ്ങ് അങ്ങ് കടലുകൾ താണ്ടിയ ആൾക്കാർ ഇവരെ അന്വേഷിച്ചു വരും ഈ ഒരു പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ഗിറ്റാർസിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഇന്ന് അവിടെ പോയിട്ട് അവിടെ ഐ ഫൗണ്ട് എ പേഴ്സൺ ഹു ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് ബൈ ഹിം സെൽഫ് കൈ ഓൺ ഹാൻഡ് മെയ്ഡ് ഗിറ്റാർസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന ഒരു പുള്ളി നമുക്ക് പുള്ളിയുടെ പോയിട്ട് ചോദിക്കാം എന്തൊക്കെ ടൈപ്പ് ഗിറ്റാർസ് ആണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്രത്യേകത എന്താണ് ഇതൊക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് അപ്പം കുറച്ച് മ്യൂസിക്കും കേൾക്കും അപ്പം നമ്മളിത് ആ പതുക്കെ മാസ്ട്രോയിലേക്കാണ് പോകുന്നത് ദിസ് സംബഡി വെയ്റ്റിംഗ് ഫോർ എസ് ഹു ഇസ് വെരി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ആൻഡ് ഇന്ന് സിംഗപ്പൂർ ചോയ്സിൽ നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ കാണുന്ന പോലെ തന്നെ കണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് പക്ഷേ കുറച്ച് 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 ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സാധനങ്ങളാണ് പറഞ്ഞു തരാറുള്ളത് വെരി വെരി ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് വെൽക്കം ടു സിംഗപ്പൂർ ചോയ്സ് Uh, very excited to get into the shop uh, the first reason was it is just you mr hosein like ozein right yes hosein, hosein. Yeah. Uh, and uh, i've seen different kind of builders in my life but i'm i'm meeting someone who makes a guitar is for the first time mm. so how did you end up in this well you have to go back to a long time before okay, okay? <laughs> my grandfather's time okay. my grandfather and my father uh, are building git- pianos in Singapore. Okay. So they are the first mm. piano builders in Singapore. You mean the, the grand 70s. piano? The piano. Oh, yeah, wow. the, okay. the piano. So uh they started by uh, building piano, so okay. they have a piano shop. Oh. So I help out in the piano shop when I was young. Okay. So they have a uh, they do not only sell pianos, they okay. have guitars, okay. they have violins and and I take a particular interest okay. in guitars. Guitar. So okay. I was helping out in uh setting up the guitar to make it more playable. Mhm. And uh and that's my interest comes from there you know okay. i like adjusting and i like fiddling around with the guitars okay. and when uh the customers play on them they they feel it's, oh it's so comfortable but, oh, okay. you know then i i I'm, i feel very happy so basically i started by repairing okay and then slowly you know my friends are asking me why don't you build a guitar okay okay so i bought a steel mac kit i went there's an online website on mm-hmm. the you based in the us mm-hmm. so i bought a kit i mm-hmm. brought it back and i It's basically just watching a DVD mm-hmm. and then you just put everything together to tell you to bend the sides, mm-hmm. to tell you to uh, put the the top to the back to the sides. Mm-hmm. So basically it's just like model assembling. Mm-hmm. Then people say, "Oh, oh, nice. it's yeah. nice, you know, mm-hmm. it's not bad, you know." Mm-hmm. It, so it it dawned on me, mm-hmm. you know, that maybe I could really start something. Mm-hmm. So um in 2006 I went to Goa. Mm-hmm. uh in India mm-hmm. to learn from this British luthier Chris Horton. Mm-hmm. So I stayed f- with him for almost a month plus. Mhm. And I learned the basic of guitar building. Mhm. So after when I'm back, I have this idea of um getting parts mm-hmm. made mm-hmm. and I buy the parts back to Singapore. I put the parts together. Okay. So it's something like kit building but it's a, a, a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Uh, I took that inspiration from my grandparents and my dad mm-hmm. who actually mm-hmm. did the same thing for piano mm-hmm. so that's basically how it get started me into this business of building mm-hmm. yeah uh do you just uh, i mean are you still repairing uh, pianos or are you just um i stopped helping out with my dad okay. so i started my own maestro guitars so you have a production unit for Yes, I have a workshop based in Singapore. Okay. And uh, I have one workshop in Singapore and mm. I have one workshop in Guangzhou. 
Oh. So Sorry. that's uh, 2010 was the year that I started my Bong mm-hmm. workshop mm-hmm. Uh, because mm. I couldn't control the quality of the parts that was actually delivered to me. Okay, okay. So bec- then the quality of my instruments came down from 2000 and especially during 2009 because okay. if you don't make the parts, mm-hmm. you know, if you get poor quality parts, mm-hmm. when you put them together, mm-hmm. how can you expect them to be good? You see, if you it's just like if you want to cook something good, mm-hmm. you know, you have to buy your own ingredient. You have mm-hmm. to make sure you have to choose your own ingredient, make mm-hmm. sure it's good, the best. Mm-hmm. Guitar building is the same. Okay. So you have to choose and you have to make sure that the wood that mm-hmm. you use mm-hmm. is the best. Okay. Even right down to the glue that we use. Okay. It matters a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you uh, make it, is it a handmade one or? Uh, it's completely handmade. Completely. So you will make sure you will sit on each guitar and you know, your touch will be there on each. Uh, what I do for, uh, for all the guitars is I design them. Practically okay. all the guitars that uh, we make is I, I design all of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one very important part which I only, I, I always insist that I have to do it. Mm-hmm. That's called what we call the voicing. Mm-hmm. So voicing of a guitar top means that in, in a guitar there's bracing. Mm-hmm. So bracing are supporting structures that mm-hmm. support the top from mm-hmm. uh, the tension of the strings. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that can either um, make the guitar mm-hmm. or break the guitar. Okay. Meaning, if you don't have enough support, mm-hmm. supporting mm-hmm. beams, okay, okay. you know, the guitar will collapse because under the tension. Okay. But if you don't have, you have too much of the support, okay. then the guitar cannot vibrate. Huh. It doesn't sound good. Okay, okay. So that's the reason why I say it can make or it can Lost break the guitar. Lots of things involved. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> yeah. it's a striking a balance okay. you know, between the uh, support mm. and, uh, and the sound. And for handmade instruments, we are okay. all after the sound. Okay. You know, then, I mean, what's the point of buying handmade when you're not buying a good sounding instrument? You can just walk into any shop okay. and say, I just want that guitar. Okay. You know, that guitar is from a factory. You know, it's, it's good. Oh, nice. So, uh, how, uh, you know, normally I've heard a guitar is of strix, uh, six strings. But I could see uh, uh, guitars with th- three strings mm-hmm. and I could see different kind of guitars. I could see, uh, you know, very expensive ones. So, what are the types of, you know, different types which you make and, you know, what is the uh, um, specialities? I make mainly six strings instruments. Okay. Uh, basically, that's what the market is mm-hmm. asking from me. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what you can see also in the shop, there are ukuleles, which mm-hmm. are small size uh, mm-hmm. instruments that mm-hmm. is four string. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, they have been constructed as four string instruments from the start. Mm-hmm. Okay. And wise guitars has always been six strings. Six strings. Yeah. But of course, when occasionally we get a customer who come to us and say, mm-hmm. hey, can you add an extra string for us? Mm-hmm. You know, make it seven. Mm-hmm. And then there are customers who come, make it eight. Mm-hmm. You know, then there are people who come, make it 12. Oh, so you customize. So yes, we mm-hmm. customize. and. and if you want a, want a number of strings, just let us know, uh-huh. you know, and how you play it, and then we can customize the guitar for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, so how about a beginner's guitar? How would it be? Usually for they start kid off who starts with, with six strings. With six you know, strings? Yeah, because most of the instruction material in the market is based on six strings. Okay. Yeah. So how expensive it is it? It depends on your starting budget. So we, we in our shop here, hmm. you know, we, we run a retail shop in Singapore. In hmm. our shop here, we have anything that stretch from as low as hundred and fifty Singapore dollars, mm-hmm. okay, to almost as high as fifteen thousand mm-hmm. or sixteen thousand. Mm-hmm. So it really depends on your budget and uh, and how much you is willing to invest in your new hobby. <laughs> okay, how difficult uh, is it to get the parts? Uh, I mean, the accessories of the guitar. The different components of yeah, the instruments. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's that <laughs> difficult. I mm-hmm. mean, of course, it takes time to build up the the suppliers, okay. you know, and knowing which supplier is better than which supplier. Okay, okay. So we take our time and I learn along the way as well. Mm-hmm. So they are from everywhere around the world. You know, okay. the strings, the machine heads, they are from US. Mm-hmm. The glues we use are from Japan. Mm-hmm. And even the frets that you see here, mm-hmm. these are from Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then if you're talking about uh, the other one, they are pins. Mm-hmm. And uh, the pins, most of the time we use wooden pins. Okay. And the wooden pins are from India. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So that's and a coincidence again for and us. Uh, yeah. And there are certain parts of the <coughs> guitar that's from India as well. That's the fingerboard. The okay. This is Indian ebony. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get it from India. We get it from India because we feel that that's one of the best around the world. That's, that's yeah. a happy news for us. Which part of India are you getting? Um, I have a supply in Cochin. 
Pochin. That is yeah. again a good news for us <laughs> <laughs> because we all can, uh, we are coming from that place. Okay. Uh, okay, and then. And uh, the rest, like for example, what you see on the this is what we call the guitar top. Mm. So this is usually they can be in spruce okay. or cedar, and spruce or cedar depends on which of the area that it's actually from. But what kind of wood does it? Uh, spruce. 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 Okay. Yeah, spruce and cedar. Okay. So cedar is mainly from Canada. Okay. And spruce, it can be from different part of uh, the US or it can be from Europe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the Swiss Alps, they actually produce a certain kind of spruce called the Swiss spruce. Okay. You know, and there are German spruce and there are Sitka spruce. So it depends on which area the spruce lot, is from. Lot, lot, lot of effort. In yes. Okay. And, and if you just think that the guitar is just made out of wood, okay. then I think you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Because yes, it's made out of wood, but every single wood has mm -hmm. its own character. Mm -hmm. Even if you're talking about the same species of wood, mm -hmm. we're talking about spruce. Okay. Spruce from this particular area has a different tonal character compared to the spruce from the other area. Okay. Okay. So you really have to, as a guitar builder, you really have to know the tonal characteristics mm -hmm. and build an instrument based on that. Okay, this okay. this is our you know I know new thing for us because we okay guitar is there we have seen people playing guitar but you know you were telling like a lot of things behind it yes and which normal people won't know. There's a lot of science behind building an instrument. How challenge I mean how challenging is it in this industry um, in this market? Never stop learning. Okay. Basically, is my motto. Okay. Uh, I have never stopped learning since I started 15 years ago. Okay. And every day I'm learning new stuff. Okay. You know, uh, and there will be a point where by like 2015, there was a point in time uh -huh. uh, that it, I came to a, a plateau. It's like, hey, I don't know how to move on. Okay. You know, in in terms of um, in terms of progressing my guitar building skill. Okay. So I look around and I seek uh, advice. So my guitar guru at that point of time was uh, Mr. Irvin Samoji. Okay. He's uh, the top guitar builder in US. Mm -hmm. You know, one of his instrument easily goes for forty thousand US dollars. Mm -hmm. So I was very lucky that uh, I had the opportunity to have a uh, to spend almost two weeks with him. Forty thousand US dollars <laughs> yeah. is something very huge. I I I, I my went through that way. Yeah. My mind went to, uh, through that way. Yeah. House brand Karinya Arvada Varshamai, Singapore in the Tana the Rujikutigalkum, Swadinum Opamana. Yangalude Woro Ulpenangaludeim, Vasanaim, Guname and Mim Nastapadadirikan, Cryogenic Sangi the Vidio Biogiche, Yangaludatana factory in Tayaraki Packaging House Brand Tana the Swadin de Samtrupti. What is the kind of customers you have? Like, uh, you know, uh, are they professional uh, guitar users or uh, kids or what is the category of? Uh, I we welcome any any guitar. Okay. Uh, and you any people, as well. yeah, any people from different sets. You know, of course, most people who actually appreciate what we are doing mm. or what I'm doing mm -hmm. is professional musicians okay. because they they are playing the instrument well. So okay. when they touch a good instrument. They know it. They could feel it. They can feel it because the instrument talks back to them. Okay. So that is a kind of synergy between the player and and the guitar. Mm. You know, I mean, just now, you know, just before we have this interview, there's a very famous uh, guitar player that's from the states. Okay. You know, he came all the way here just to meet me and uh, just oh, that's to wonderful. <laughs> just to uh, just to tell feel me how guitars, much yeah. he likes the instrument. Wonderful. Yeah. So how about electric guitars? You know, I, I don't know much about guitar. Maybe a stupi uh, stupid questions to you, no, a person no, like not, you. Yeah. Uh, so what is electric guitars? What oh, is the difference? Electric guitar is different. It's uh, powered by uh, pickup systems. So uh, there's pickups in it. So it's basically you need um, you need electrical current. Yeah. You know, you have to, to plug run it, it through. Yes, yeah. you need to plug it in. Okay. What I specialize in is mm -hmm. acoustic guitars. Okay. So 
uh, I personally feel there's a lot more science mm. in in making the wood sound, mm. making the wood sing, mm -hmm. rather than making electronic sing. Hmm. Okay. Again, that's a machine. Then. Um, for electronics. Yeah. For electronics, is uh, you can be built by hand okay. or you can be built by machines. Okay. So basically, it's a pickup system. Then you use a use a copper wire to hand coil it. Oh, so you don't sell electric guitars. I don't really build electric guitars. Okay. You know, even as a guitar builder, you mm -hmm. need to find your specialty. Yeah. You know, you cannot build all kinds of guitars. Mm -hmm. There is classical guitars, which is nylon string, which mm -hmm. the Spanish people are playing, mm -hmm. and there's a steel string guitar, which is very American based. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is uh, ukulele, which is very Hawaiian based, mm -hmm. you know, and there's electric guitar, which is started in the seventies because of rock stars and mm -hmm. all these who are playing electric guitars. Mm -hmm. There's a need to have for the hard rocks and all. Yeah, a yeah. production style. The instrument. metal, uh, hard rocks kind of. Mm, they also play yeah. uh, electric guitars, but it's a different kind of electric guitars. Okay. So even within electric guitars, if you really go deep, there's so many different kinds. Wonderful. So you are, you know, specialized in the handmade uh, six strings. Steel, just steel string. I'm I'm specializing in steel string instruments. Okay. You know, uh, and I do build a little bit of uh, ukuleles as well. Okay. Uh, just out of my curiosity, sure. can you please uh, explain me what all this, you know, uh, the parts of the different parts of this yeah, instrument? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can have this because is the guitar. Yeah. So we have strings. These okay. are the strings. You okay. know. Uh, and this is the bridge of the instrument. Okay. This is the fingerboard. Okay. This is the top. So this is the soundboard of the instrument. And this uh, guitar has six strings. This has six strings. Yes. Okay. This is okay. a six-string instrument. And uh, this this is just an abalon, okay. but a decorative purpose. Okay. Okay. We added a little bit of our specialty here. This okay. is a bevel armrest. Okay. Okay. And uh, so that you can really uh, be more comfortable when you're playing. Ha, 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 yeah, okay. It's more it's more ergonomic. Okay. And then this is the back and the sides of the instrument. Okay. So what you're looking here is the Indian rosewood. Hmm. It's from nice. India. Indian yeah. rosewood. Okay. Okay. And this is the neck of the instrument. Okay. Uh, usually most of the necks are actually made of uh, mahogany or maple. Ha, ha. Yeah. And then you have bridge pins. Okay. The saddle and uh, the machine head. Okay, yeah, this is to, you know... Um yeah, we call it the tuners as well. Oh, you, nice. you get to, you tune it so that you can get the note in tune. That's wonderful. Yeah. So this is how the guitar is. This is the, this is the one made by yours? Yes. And how expensive is it? Um, this one is around uh, 4,000 Singapore dollars. So it is a professional one? This is a little bit more professional, yeah. That is what, yeah. 4,000? How much was that? Singapore dollars. 4,000 Singapore dollars. So, so we have the same model. But uh -huh. it's at about two two thousand seven hundred. So anyway, this is not for a beginner. This is for a professional. Um, not really. If you are a beginner, you can play this as well. Okay. You know, if you are professional, of course you will appreciate this more. Okay. But uh, if, I mean, having a good instrument makes a beginner plays better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's wonderful, and uh, this is. Uh, I mean, all this time we were all this time we were talking about you know the guitar, and yeah. now this is a minute things which he was explaining me about the guitars, all these parts and all. Though I'm not, you know, I'm not. A, I don't know to play any of the instruments. So this is a big knowledge for me, information for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and thank you. So what is the future expansion we could uh, expect? Well, we are trying to uh, introduce our instruments mm -hmm. to all over the world. Okay. So uh, we we are trying to build up our dealer presence as mm -hmm. well in Europe. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully there will be more locations where mm -hmm. you can find a maestro guitar. Okay. And hopefully in India. That's <laughs> wonderful. Anyway, all the very best because we all love music. So you know, let it grow. All the very best for the future ventures. Thank you. And uh, for giving us. This much information as well. Yeah. And thanks, Mr. Osi Thank from Mastro. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>
in 15 minutes if we can all get ready and run out for our busy lives. Maybe dropping our kids off at school or running to the office for a meeting or even a presentation. That's what we're going to do today. Let me welcome Sindhu Sribhavan on today's show. Hi Sindhu. Hi Gayatri. Glad to have you on the show today. It's wonderful to be here. Okay Sindhu, let me know how much time do you have in the morning before you run out and what is your profession like? Uh, well, um, I have a very busy schedule. I'm the CEO of As Many Minds. Wow. Uh, we are into education innovation space. And I'm also the founder of the International Youth Leadership and Innovation Forum. Wow. I have written a few books on mindset as well as on personal development. Mm -hmm. And what it entails is that I have to be in front of people speaking to small and large crowds um, as a speaker uh, very regularly. And to answer your question about how much time I do have, if I get 15 minutes in the morning, that's wonderful. So since you're a very people-facing job, um, do you think that 15 minutes is good enough time for you for the morning? I guess 15 minutes is, uh, if I can do something in 15 minutes. It's the maximum you want to yeah, spend. That, yes, exactly. And then rush out and do more important things. Exactly. Okay. So let's tailor make something that's within that 15 minutes for you. Okay. So you can get ready and look fabulous for the whole day. That sounds awesome. House brand, Karinya Arvada Varshamai, Singapore in the Tana the Rujikutagalkum, Swadinum Opamana. Yangalude Voro Ulpenangaludeim, Vasanaim, Guname and Vim Natapada the Rigal. Cryogenic Sangi the Vidio Biovicha, Yangaluda than a factory in Tayaraki Packaging. House brand, Tana the Swadin in the Samtrupti. Ida Kavadunda, Nivaiki, Uli, Velutuli, Perinjiradam, and Udham Kodambuli. Yeah, that's what Adela Manam. Idela Munda. Evident enough. Kartigail and Ningalade Samtrupti Ada, Yangalade Sandosha, Kartiga Supermarket. So ideally we need something that's quick, easy and lasts the whole day. That's right. Maybe just with the lipstick touch up during half a day. Okay, let's start I with it. I can find time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dry skin eye under, let's start with moisturizing the face always is good because she needs to last the whole day. Any face serum is a good option because it doesn't leave the face oily. Extra dry areas are there you need to just go over a second time. We can use the serum. Not necessary to wait just before the makeup to use the serum. By then it's well absorbed and face is completely ready to start your makeup. dark circles ideally use a color corrector. Just come and tap where it needs to be corrected. It blends in very nicely. Under eye circles, the main thing is the color correction. That's why it's really quick and easy. The foundation just in the center of the face. We apply blend that will spread evenly everywhere and become just a thin enough layer. Center of the face actually brighten up. We don't need to mask up the whole face. Once we have the desired amount of foundation on, we have to come and blend. Dry skin blend is good to just come and dab a little bit of the same serum on the brush and then blend out. So that gives it a double moisturizing for the skin and blends out evenly. Namka very heavy eye So just keep blending with the serum till you feel it looks clean and not heavy. Kandinda Adila, where we have given the little extra coverage, don't drag away, just try and dab. Yeah, so we don't move the product that we've used for coverage. Just blend with a smaller brush closer to the eye. A quick blush is good 
The ideal place is the apple of the cheeks. So give me a nice big smile. And then you just want to dust some on the apple. So it looks natural. Blush doesn't have to be heavy at all. For a corporate day look for meetings, it just has to be very natural. Like you don't have much on. Yeah. Eyebrows is a must because that shapes the face. And if you tend to wear glasses, then it's good to just lightly shape them so that the frame is good for your eyes. Sindunda eyebrows are good shape, so I'm just filling it in only and just enhancing the shape. A quick wash of colour for the eyes is all you need for a, a good day look. Since Sindhu has got big eyes, I'm going in for a slightly darker colour, not too heavy, that will last her the whole day. So this is a gel liner that's going to last you the whole day and will not smudge. If you're not a fan of writing underneath, normally do you write underneath? Uh, very rarely. Very rarely. So then we can just leave it and get to uh, the mascara now straight away. Mm -hmm. Mascara is an absolute must whether you're doing anything else or not. Uh, to start with, looking downwards, you want to coat the top lashes first. As close as possible to the lash line so there's a nice coating from the top. Once the top is coated, do it from the bottom of the top lashes. So looking down again and you want to push it upwards. If you want this to last the whole day, it's a good idea to just use a makeup setting spray. So it stays in place and gives it enough of a lasting. Yeah? So closing eyes and spray a few meters away and just naturally let it dry. So now we're going to use a nice soft lip that it doesn't overpower everything else. So we have normal lipsticks long lasting gittum, yeah, which are not completely matte. Matte amber tends to dry up your lips. If you feel the lips are getting dry, you can always add on some lip gloss or opt for more moisturized versions rather than a completely long lasting version. And she looks ready to head out and face the world. Keep watching Gayatri's Makeovers. Singapore Choice. Summer Vigindada House Brand. Tanadaya Sodhind Samdrati. Powered by Ayush Ayurvedic. Singapore and Malaysia. In association with Kartika Supermarket. Ningal de Samtrathiana, Nyangal de Sandosham, Sulu Style Salon, Best Reviews in Town.